I mentioned this the other day when we were talking about books in August of 2018 that you should read, and I picked up the comic book story of Baseball, uh, written by Alex Irvine with art by Tom Cocker and C.P. Smith. It's, um... Because I really like baseball. I'm I'm a fan of the game. My Seattle Mariners are doing that thing they do every year, and they just decide to tank at the end of the season. <laughs> and uh, But I still watch them, and I still root for them. So this was an interesting um, guide. I haven't finished it, but I think I get the gist uh, of just basically the, the, the stories that you know and the stories that you don't know in baseball. They talk about, like, the obvious things we talk, uh, you know, we talk about the rise of Babe Ruth, uh, Ted Williams, you know, the longest homer ever hit and stuff like that. And um, and how Jackie Robinson came to be the first African-American Major League Baseball player, even though he was not the first African-American baseball player. He was just the one, the first one to, to break into it, uh, into the majors. I do have an issue with them calling this a comic book. Because it's more of an illustrated history, and um, and I, it's roto, it feels to me like it's just rotoscoped pictures, mm. and I actually recognize the uh, Illustrator uh, plugins and effects that they use on some of the pictures. From I'm Adobe like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I've used that effect before. From, from Adobe Suite? From the Adobe Suite, yeah. But it's, it's not like they just straight up did that. There's, an, there's artistry going on here. But it's, there's, there, are no pan, there are no strips. There's, there's not, it's not sequential in the way that we think of comic books. Mm -hmm. I just read um, the comic book history of comics, mm -hmm. which did present the history in comic form. Mm -hmm. it, one panel went to the other panel went to the other panel. This is, yeah, this is... I would like to call a uh, just an illustrated history, hmm. okay. and uh, but that doesn't that doesn't um, d uh, doesn't br uh, uh, it doesn't decline my enjoyment. What am I trying to say? It doesn't d uh, diminish it. Diminish it. Thank you. It doesn't diminish uh -huh. my enjoyment out of it. It's nice to sit down and and read about things like oh, what's this common like? What's what was the dead ball era? I've always heard of the dead ball era, but I've never really knew what it was. Well, this will tell you exactly what that is. I was gonna ask. So, did you learn new stuff from it? I did. I did. I have learned new stuff, and it's it's nice to have that the the backfill to history because I do r listen to a lot of baseball broadcasts and the announcers are very well informed about the history and they bring up a lot of stuff. Of course, they have references in the internet in front of them. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll just bring up something and I'm like, oh, what is that? Who is that? Uh, what was that? What did that mean? And then, you know, I'd, obviously you're not going to learn the entire history of baseball from this um, uh, I want to uh, from this 169 page book, mm -hmm. but uh, you will you will fill in your knowledge. So if you if you like the sport and you want to just learn about how it came to be America's pastime, pick up the comic book story of baseball, the heroes, hustlers, and history making swings and misses of America's national pastime. <laughs> and I'd like to tell you who the publisher is, but I can't find it. Ten publishing. Anyway. That's my book report. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you all.